Hey guys, this is Frozen Thing Studios here and welcome back to another movie review and today I'll be reviewing Rocky V. So Rocky V is the fifth installment in the Rocky franchise and came out in the year 1990 and is directed by John G. Avilson who, who literally um returned to the franchise um, in, in this film. Uh, he's the same director as the, as the very first um, iconic classic Rocky and also my favorite sports movie of all time, The Karate Kid. And pretty much stars um, most of the same cast as, as, as the previous films. You got Sylvester Stallone, Talia Shire, Burt Young, um, Burgess uh, Meredith. Um, and uh, also you got some new um, cast members like Sage Stallone, who is uh, Sylvester Stallone's son. And Tommy Morrison, who plays, well, Tommy. And basically the plot for his movie is about the Rocky Balboa, who is forced to retire from boxing after getting in a painful match with Ivan Drago in the last film, but um, as, as Rocky refuses to, to give up boxing, he pretty, pretty much um, like fights a new position in boxing, which is uh, being a manager, uh, as uh, this uh, as this new student named Tommy, who who Rock is, who um, um, considers Rocky Balboa as his idol, um, wants um, Rocky to, to coach him, but Rocky says that he's no coach, uh, but, um, but he really, but uh, He's he's still able to he still like steps up as um Tommy's manager because Tommy wants to be the new Rocky, but um but at the same time um Rocky Junior also wants to be with his dad the but but uh, but Rocky is um too busy with the Tommy that that he doesn't really pay attention to his son so uh well conflicts happen and then some and then some really big thing happens in the end uh, specifically with Tommy. So yeah, I think you you all might be aware of of the, the massive uh, backlash that Rocky Five has gotten. I mean, this movie has so much hate, and I've seen some people on Lairbox uh, and IMDb defend this movie, saying it's actually it's solid, it's not that bad. But <coughs> I I'm I'm okay. But I think everyone agrees that Rocky Five is the worst in the franchise. Even though, um, even though you you think this movie is actually pretty alright, um, it, it you still uh, most people admit that this is the worst Rocky film. I, I know there are some people who who likes every single Rocky movie and um good for them, good for them that that they like all the Rocky films. To me personally, I wasn't looking forward to this movie. I I, I was not looking for this movie not necessarily because of the reviews. Well, kind of because of the reviews that it got to like the massive hate base, but. It's mainly due to the fact that um um I, I just felt like um there needed to be a bad Rocky film because I I've been like consistently like flagging the last four Rocky films, especially um Rocky Four. I, I mean I was surprised by how like solid the, the Rocky sequels have been. So I was like thinking go I think they they should slow them. Like there's no way all, all um all the Rocky films are good. I'm sure there'll be a bad one. Um and but I was kind of optimistic at the same time. I was like I had a little bit of hope for this because the director of the original Rocky um returned to direct this one and you all know how good Rocky is. I don't need to say anything about that. Uh, but I mean I like Sylvester Stallone's directing run, but when you got the original director directing this one, you know it might be a green flag. You know this movie could be really good. Um and then I saw the movie for the first time and oh my goodness. I'm pissed. Seriously. I'm actually, I'm actually pissed. And yes, people, this is going to be a rant. Now, I said movie review in the beginning because I just wanted to, to build up to this. I, I, I wanted to save uh, the rant for this part to say, like, save me saying that this is a rant. I wanted to save it for this part, but now I'm saying it. This movie is going to be a rant because, my God, this movie is terrible. Yeah, I mean, absolutely garbage. Like, um, but, man, yes, um, is there anything, um good about this film well i actually have one minor redeeming quality to this uh and i mean minor um i like the, the rocky jr's girlfriend uh that basically you know rocky jr gets bullied and then the, he has a, like this girl just um steps up to him and then they both get their relationship well rocky's i, I think her name is uh, jewel i i that's as far as i remember now, uh, we don't really see them uh, as a boyfriend and girlfriend, but I, I definitely ship them. Like, I, I absolutely ship them. Like, um, 
But um, yeah, um, I like Jewel. She's really she's adorable. She's sweet. I I, I love her charm and her support to uh, Rocky Jr. When um the bull like when she literally stood up against her own boyfriend for bullying Rocky Jr. I'm sure they'll eventually become boyfriend and girlfriend because I totally ship them. I mean, they're literally per they're literally perfect together. Um, the problem with Jewel is that I feel like she was barely in the movie. I think she could have um been in the movie more and. Let me also tell you right now, I would rather see see more of uh, Rocky Jr. and um, Rocky Jr. and Jr. and Jewel together than uh, the actual plot that we have for this movie. Unfortunately, that is where all my positive lie. Now let's get into the endless negatives of this movie. Like, where do I even start with this one? Um, yeah, I mean. This movie is actually way worse than what everyone says. I think this movie doesn't get enough hate. I think, uh, I mean, it has a 30% critic rating. I think it should be lower than that, like, less than 10% because it really is that bad. Like, it, it could be lower than 20 because that's how bad it is. It's just terrible. Um, yeah, this is an absolute disgrace to the Rocky franchise. And honestly, I think this is not canon to Rocky. Yes, people, this movie isn't isn't canon it's hard to believe that this movie is canon because of how how much they, they literally ruined the movie i mean you literally got the director of the original rocky just just so he can like literally ruin his own franchise wow like i mean poor shame on this guy like this is how you follow up the karate kid wow i mean did he did he direct the, the karate kid sequels too i think if i have directed the um the karate kid sequels and I mean, I was. I think the Karate Kid two was man, and Karate Kid three was uh, decent. I, I I don't remember, but like, I mean, I wonder if John G. Avildsen also directed the 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 Karate Kid sequels. Um, but I don't know. I don't care. I mean, if he directed the next Karate Kid, then my God, then I think he really might have uh, gone downhill from here. Like, if he if this guy directed the next Karate Kid, then I mean, this movie literally set his uh career going downhill and I mean absolutely downhill from here um but my god where do I even start with this first of all let's talk about um the fact that this movie is absolutely boring bland lifeless and mean-spirited I mean this movie is boring uh, most of the movies just characters arguing there's like there's far too many plot points that uh, I don't know like I can't really handle which plot is uh essential focus. I think it's mainly Rocky training uh Tommy but there's way too many things going on. There's like so many jungle ideas and man it is not fun at all. I mean even the boxing even the fightings are so lackluster. I mean there's only two um lackluster anticlimactic fight scenes. Uh the first one being like Tommy with, with his boxing. I mean I, I, it was so it, it went so quick it was not entertaining. He like he literally just defeated his opponent in one second and, and Rocky was just watching. And then you got Rocky versus Tommy in the, the final battle, which is not even boxing, it's just a it's just a random street fight with like just punching. You know? There's a difference between boxing and just random uh you know um random uh like punching. I think this this franchise is starting to lose like I think it's starting to lose that. I mean, at least the first two Rocky films had normal uh boxing, but like it's it's starting to get even cheesier. I mean, you got some ridiculous over the top stuff like over the top stuff like throwing it around. I totally I totally understand why Rocky Four did that, but this one I think it just started like really ridiculous. Um, and can we talk about how mean spirited this movie is? I mean, the the reason why I kind of like Jewel. It's because she's actually the only character who isn't hateable. It was somewhat likable. Every single, every single character in this movie in are, are absolutely hateable. Um, yeah. Um, Ro Rocky is really stupid. He's arrogant. Like, like he literally like, he's so arrogant, and he has this weird obsession with Tommy. Um, like, like he, he I, I don't know why he cares about Tommy more than his son. I mean that. I mean. I mean, he literally d didn't even know Tommy until, um, like, t Tommy, like, went to him and asked him to train him, and, and then he's like, oh, forget about my son, I'll just train you instead, because, I mean, because you're my brother, but, like, uh, we'll, we'll get to Tommy later on in, in this rant, um, um, and I'm sorry, still Sylvester Stallone, but your performance was not good, I mean, Sylvester Stallone's performance, 
Yes, he was one of the better parts of this film, but that definitely doesn't say much. His performance was really lackluster and really lacked the what made the um, Rocky like his performances Rocky in the previous films really good. Um, Adrian just might might. Adrian is just, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Adrian might be a contender for my least favorite char- female characters list, uh, because my goodness, he is a, she is a terrible wife to Rocky. Literally, she she she's whining all the time. She literally forces Rocky to like stop boxing because, um, that's what she wants. Like she's so um, like uh, annoying. She's just um so whiny and annoying. Yeah, and and she's a brat. Rocky Jr. like Rocky's son is such a whiny brat and his father and son relationship with Rocky is for his timing. Literally they both um had had a beef with each other because of Rocky's obsession with Tommy, but then they just uh get together in the third act because the plot needs him to. And to the and to Silver Stallone's son, I'm sorry, but this is literally Jane Smith. Like this is literally like the Will Smith of Jane Smith Smith uh like thing, I, I feel like it's that one, like you know, where Sylvester Stallone forces his son to act just because he acts, which is oh, yeah, which is terrible. But, um, but then we get to the worst character in the film and possibly the worst character in the entire Rocky franchise, Tommy Gunn. Oh my goodness, oh, he is literally one of the worst villains I've ever seen in my life. I mean, if I made a top 10 worst villains of all time, Tommy would certainly be in the list. Like, where do I even begin with this? Um, He's kind of like Corey from Halloween Ends, like, but... I mean, as much as I, hate, as I despise him in Halloween Ends, I hate to say this, but I think he's worse than Corey. As bad as Corey was from Halloween Ends, at least his motivation tried to make sense. His the way they wrote his character, at least they tried to make sense, even if it, like, it was just really bad. Like, Tommy's motivation for betraying Rocky literally made no sense. Like, he, like, you know, why does, did he betray Rocky and become, like, turn to the dark side? He wants money, he wants uh, to be like Rocky, he wants respect, and he wants so many other things. Like, it's like, it's like the writers are ju- trying to juggle so many motivations at once that they can't really pick which, pick which motivation. And but all all the, the the true villains, the guy who pretty much brainwashed him to to get in the, that scamming gang or whatever you call it, he's annoying and forgettable. I I don't really care. I have nothing to say about him, and uh, and yeah, I mean I don't even remember who that guy is. My God, so overall, Rocky Five is an absolute disaster and a disgrace to um, and a disgrace to to the Rocky franchise. Uh, while it did have one decent character, that character was not enough to save this movie from being an absolute train wreck. Literally, ca- character assassinating Rocky Balboa himself and making every single important character really mean spirited and un- unlikable. That there's no one to root for. That there's no one to root for, and this movie is boring. It's anticlimactic. There's too many things going on. What an embarrassment for for the for, for the director's return of the first Rocky film, um yeah, Rocky Balboa, you better be good, please Rocky Balboa, please don't please don't screw up, please redeem the franchise, um so yeah, with that said, I'm gonna give Rocky Five a one out of ten. <sighs> so also from my review of um, Rocky Five, what is your opinion of the movie? Um, are you with me that this movie is horrible, or do you think that that this movie is not that bad uh, as uh, some people say? Comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for my review of Rocky Balboa and also my trailer review for Haunted Mansion, uh, like the upcoming Disney live action film. Yeah, Haunted Mansion is uh, um coming, and the the Disney trailer is gonna come very soon. So yeah, bye guys.